In this Cricut Halloween project, we are making our very own outdoor witch's broom rack that will make you the envy of your neighborhood. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael from the Mr. Crafty Pants YouTube channel as well as Crafty. And today I'm over here on Design Bundles, mixing it up yet again with another awesome Cricut project. Now, for this project, y'all, I am super excited about this. I really, truly think that this is one of my favorite things that I have made in a very long time. We are taking this sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. Super, super cheap, super inexpensive. You can get these things on sale all the time. I am just going over this with black spray paint real quick. And I'm also gonna take one of those very cheap little plastic witch's cauldrons that you can get at most any store nowadays. And we're gonna take that, fill it up with some concrete, put a little wooden stick in there from Lowe's. But as far as how we'll actually be decorating our sign, we are using this file right here from designbundles.net. I'm just so here for it. One hour broom parking violators will be towed. But my favorite part of all of that is how they spelt toad. Like actually like a toad. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. All right, so as you can see, I do have this already uploaded and on the Cricut Design Space canvas. And um, you can also probably see over here in the layers panel that this particular design is, um, it's, got, it's got quite a few layers, okay? It's got quite a few layers, but it's all right. We still love her, okay? We're gonna go in here and kind of clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna come down here for this little grouping, which is nice because they do at least have it in groupings by color. So we're gonna take this little grouping and then come down here towards the bottom right, click on weld like so. And then for this other little grouping for the orange, we will do the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and come down here, click on weld. And as you can see now in the layers panel that each of these colors are on its own layer, meaning that it's gonna cut out exactly as you see here, which also means that it's gonna make it so much easier to use. So I'm also gonna go ahead and click and drag over both of those and then come up here and click on group as well, because basically we need to go in here and resize this to fit onto our sign. So for that, what I like to do is make a template inside of Cricut Design Space to actually be the real life dimensions of our actual real life sign. It's gonna be a virtual representation inside of Cricut Design Space of what we're actually working with with our real sign. So let me come over here, click on shapes, and then let's go ahead and open up a square. Now for this square, let's go ahead and come up here and click on this padlock to unlock the proportions of that square so that we can then go in here and change the dimensions of the sign. So for the width, we're putting here 21, and for the height, we're putting 13.25. Hit enter. We can lock that padlock back and we're good to go, y'all. Let's go ahead and right click this, this square, send it back, and then we can go ahead and zoom out real quick just to resize this appropriately. All right, I'm thinking that right there is gonna look pretty freaking cool if you ask me. However, we are gonna be actually cutting out this black portion on white vinyl. So just so you can kind of get an idea of what that will look like, let's come over here, click on that layer, and then change that color just to white like so. Now, to be honest, y'all, it does not amount to a hill of beans which color you pick, as long as you know that that color, whenever you go to cut it out, is gonna be cut out onto the corresponding color that you need it to be cut out on. To me, I need things as easy as possible, so that just helps me out a ton right there. All right, so I am thinking that this is looking amazing. Let's go ahead and roll with this. So let me come over here, click on that little eye icon to hide that template, and then let's come up here and click on make it. Now. This is something that's important to know that this is a larger sign. So I am actually using a larger cutting mat. I'm using the 12 inch by 24 inch Cricut cutting mat. So I'm gonna come over here, click on mat and make sure that the 12 inch by 24 inches is selected and then click on continue. We don't need to do anything else with either of these layers. So let's come down here, click on continue yet again. We'll go ahead and open up our Cricut, get her ready to go. And then I am using the StarCraft HD Permanent Adhesive Vinyl. It is currently my favorite permanent vinyl on the market. So I'm gonna go in here and just use either the vinyl cut setting or the premium vinyl permanent glossy cut setting. But to be honest, I did go ahead and skip ahead and cut out both of these layers as you can see here. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and grab our sign. We'll grab some transfer tape and I am using the StyleTech Clear Medium Tech transfer tape. Everybody always asks me what I'm using. And this is the stuff, like it is my current like ride or die transfer tape. So good. All this stuff will be listed and linked down in that description box below in case you're interested. But here is our sign. 
all painted, all dry, and I am gonna go ahead and put down the white layer first. And the main reason for that, to be honest, is just because it is the largest of the two layers. And once we have this down and positioned exactly where we want it to be on the sign, it'd be much easier to line this up where it needs to go. All right, so here is our transfer tape. Here is our vinyl. I'm laying the transfer tape down, sticky side facing up towards me. Grab this and apply it face first down onto the transfer tape. And then going in here and actually just peeling off the backing paper off of the vinyl. Now I'm just going to go ahead and lay out some parchment paper because this is like one of my favorite hacks to actually get everything lined up exactly where you want it to be on your surface before you actually commit to laying this down onto your surface. Because I mean, I think we've all been there at least once or twice where you accidentally lay down the vinyl prematurely onto your surface and it just causes a big old mess. And nobody wants a big old mess. All right, so I got most of the vinyl and everything covered up as you can see here. Let's go in here though and basically just have one end peeking out above that parchment paper just so that we can lay that down and adhere that down to the surface once we're ready. All right, so once you have it where you want it, go ahead and grab a little squeegee tool. And this little end down here that we, we don't have any parchment paper underneath, that is the end we're gonna go in on first. We're gonna squeegee that down. Lift all this up, pull out the parchment paper, and then we're gonna squeegee the rest of it down. All right, back at this again, sticky side of the transfer tape sticking up towards me. We'll apply this down face first. Yet again, barely go over this. You really don't wanna squeegee your transfer tape down to your, your vinyl too much because that vinyl is pressure activated. It's pressure sensitive. And if you do it too much, well, that adhesive, although it's already sticky to begin with, that adhesive is really gonna to start to activate and can really cling on to that backing paper. So that is what we do not want. And we are back again with the parchment paper. And once we have that where we want it, again with the squeegee, lift up on the transfer tape, and then squeegee the rest of it down. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some little C hooks and then screw this into the front of the sign to actually park your broom. All right, so this is all done. So let's go ahead and attach this down to our wooden stake. We will also go in there and for one, cover up the concrete, but two, we also just wanna go ahead and decorate around the cauldron, make sure that it looks like there's a, a bit of a spell or potion brewing up inside of there. Hey, real quick, if you are new around here to the Design Bundles YouTube channel, and you also want to learn how to best use your crickets or to do sublimation, then definitely consider stamping that subscribe button. Also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because y'all do not want to miss out on a single crafty minute. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to also stamp that like button, drop a comment down below, and then share this with your crafty friends. Thanks so much for watching. We love y'all to the freaking moon and back, and until next time, Stay crafty.